The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is. Second chapter, text number 17. Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. Recorded on August 23rd. 1973, in London, England. It pervades the entire body, is, imper- is indestructible. No one is able to destroy the imperishable soul. Abhinashi to Tadabiddhi Jeno Sarma Vidam Satam Binasam Abhyasya Asya now it is very clearly enunciated the nature of the soul. Any sensible man can understand. This is practical. Formally all the verses they were more or less theoretical. Dehinas means the Thadehi, Kaumaram, Jogunam, Jara. This is, it may be taken theoretical, not theoretically, but actually the fact, but still less intelligent can, cannot understand that there is a soul within this body. <coughs> but here it is explained very Clear. Abhinashi to Tadviddhi talk that thing uh, which is spread all over the world. Abhinashi to Tadviddhi talk that Abhinashi, imperishable. So what is spread all over the world? Consciousness. That is spread all over the body. Everyone can understand that if I pinch any part of my body or your any part of the body, you feel pain. Or similarly, if you get some other facilities, a pleasure, the pains and pleasure are felt so long there is consciousness. Any man can understand. And as soon as the consciousness is not there, sometimes we are made uh, unconscious by drugs, by chloroform and other anesthetic medicine, uh, or by nature, unconscious state. There are three stages. Uh, Jagriti, Shapna, Susupti. Anyone has got this experience. One stage is that you are uh, awakened. Another stage is sleeping. And another stage is unconscious. Three stages. Jagriti, Shapna, and Susupti. The Sanskrit name. Jagriti, when you are open, our consciousness is very acute, very strong. In sleeping state, there is consciousness, but it is not so active. And unconscious state means consciousness is somewhere or other subdued, not working. Three stages. <coughs> so, death means that unconsciousness for a long period, that is death. Uh, because uh, the soul is eternal. It will be explained. There is no birth and death. Uh, so the, uh, when this body is annihilated, uh, so the soul remains unconscious for a period, seven months for human beings. Seven months 
unconscious stage within the womb of the mother. After seven months, the consciousness revives. Just like if you have got an experience under chloroform, unconsciousness, the surgical operation takes place, you do not understand, you do not perceive uh, pains and pleasure, but you remain for a certain hours unconscious, then gradually dream comes. Uh, just from unconsciousness the dream comes. And from dream you are awake. As you go down from awakening stage to dream, dream to unconsciousness, similarly you come up also. From unconsciousness to dream, from dream to awakening consciousness. So death means when this body is lost, gross body, and the soul remains in the subtle body, intelligence, mind, and ego. That subtle body carries him to another body. But those who are not intelligent, uh, they do not understand what is the subtle body. Although it is clearly said, subtle body means mind, intelligence. You have got mind, intelligence, everyone knows. But these uh, rascals, because they cannot see mind and intelligence, they think that this man is God. Mind intelligence, and everyone knows that he has got mind. I know you have got your mind, I have got my mind. You have got intelligence, I have got intelligence. But I do not see your intelligence. It is subtle. Just like there is sky, but here is sky in my front, but I do not see. The things as they become more subtle and subtler, these gross senses cannot experience. Therefore the soul is so subtle that it is not possible to perceive the presence of soul with these material senses. So these rascals, they simply say, no, I cannot see soul. How can you see? That is not possible. It is so minute and so subtle that it cannot be seen by this gross eye. Achinta khalidri bhava, nata tarke na So, Krishna says, just imagine, thought that jena sarva vidam tata, idam, this body, tatam, tatam means expanded, spread. So some, we can understand the consciousness that if I press, if I paint, uh, or otherwise we feel pain, so that is consciousness. <coughs> so Krishna clearly says, so that thing is avinasi, impersonal. Now, Krishna has said previously that we, I, you, and all others, we existed in the past. So we existed in the past. That means we are all individuals. In the past also, we are individuals, and at the present, we are individuals, and we shall continue to be individuals in the future. There is no such thing as the Mahama, the philosopher, or rascals. They say that after liberation they all intermingle, becomes a homogeneous lump. No. Even after liberation we remain individuals. Particles. It is not that a mixer, uh, homogeneous mixing. Up. Even in matter, what to speak of spirit, it will be explained that spirit cannot be cut into pieces. 
That means we are all spirit soul. It is not. We are lumped together at, at one time. Now we have been cut into pieces and therefore we are individual. This Maya It is not that. We are individuals, sanātana, eternally. That will be explained. Mamai māṁsa jīva bhūta. Jīva loka sanātana. Eternally we are individuals. Nitya nitya nāṁ, cetana cetana nāṁ. The Supreme Lord is the supreme cetan, conscious. Just like we are consulting dictionary yesterday. Supreme being. Therefore his consciousness is also supreme. As we are uh, living beings, uh, not supreme, subordinate. Similarly, God is also being, but the supreme being. That is it. Very simple thing. Uh, you cannot say that I am supreme. That this rascal says that I am God. How you can be God? Are you supreme? Uh, as soon as we ask this question, are you supreme? No. Then I will become God. Uh, the supreme means, that is also, we consult to this, the supreme means the, uh, the highest authority. So is, is any one of us the highest authority? No. Nobody is highest authority. Everyone is under the grip of materiality. How you can be highest authority? But they imagine, yes, I am highest authority, I am meditate, I am the highest authority, I am moving the sun, I am moving the this, I am simply rascal. This is their meditation. Uh, falsely think that I am the supreme, I am controlling everything, the sun is moving under my direction, the, everything, the water is, uh, seas, uh, I will say, uh, they are under my direction. Simply, this is their meditation, uh, in part. Just try to understand how much fool is there. Uh, he, any sane man will say that I am moving the sun, I am moving the moon, I am moving the sea. Any sane man will de- say like that. Nobody will say. Uh, will you say, anyone here, that we are moving the sun, you are moving the moon? Who is there? Anyone? Uh, who can say? Nobody can say. And still these rascals are praying that he has become God. God. We are all God. This rascal philosophy has killed the whole world. Atheism. So many incarnations, gods, uh, all false theories only. This is why. So many gurus, all rascals. All rascals. Take it for granted. Anyone who is speaking against the principle of Bhagavad Gita, he is a rascal. That's all. Don't give you any credit. Ah. Tell him on the face. Ah. Whether you accept Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. If he says no, then you are asking. That's all. Ah. There is no exemption. Ah. At least you must know that here is a rascal. Because God is Krishna, the Supreme, Ishara Parama Krishna. Satchidananda Vidya, accepted by all Acharyas, by all Vedic Shastra. And when he was present himself, he proved himself that he is God. Nobody was equal to Krishna when he was personally present. Throughout the whole history of Mahabharata you can see, uh, nobody was equal to Krishna. And nobody was greater than Krishna. Many, many demons came to fight with him, to kill him. Even when he was a child, the Putana demand came to kill him by poisoning. 
Man kinst nei so kein. Dat moet dan aan. Het is meer over het uh, breast, poison. En Krishna sapt the breast and sapt her life also. But she was given liberation, the position of mother. Krishna is so kind, that is supreme consciousness, that have at this demand, tutona, uh, well, innocent or ignorant, she came to kill me without knowing that I cannot be killed. That is her ignorance. But so far I am concerned, I have uh, touched her breast as mother, therefore she should be given the position of mother, like Yasodāma. This is Krishna. She felt in himself so much of life, uh, because this is service, just like mother gives service to the child. Uh, without any return. Uh, she gives uh, from the very beginning of her life within the womb. The mother feeds the child. Uh, the, the process is given by nature, but mother feeds. Therefore when pregnant, the mother should not eat any pungent things, because it will give to the tender skin and heart of the child. She should eat only very simple thing, but they have no conscience. They are now killing. What to speak of? Uh, maintaining the child very nicely, that there is a child, my son or my daughter, she must be provided with all comforts in the home. There is no motherly affection in, in this Kali uh, In the material world, Motherly affection is considered to be the highest form of love. But the Kali Yuga is so polluted that mother is also giving up her love for the children. Just imagine what is equal. Manda Sumanda Matayu Manda Bhagyaj Bhajita. So this Kali Yuga is so strong. Uh, that it attacks even the so-called devotees also. Collision phases. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has a commandment that if you want to save yourself, if you at all desire to take the position of Amrita, if you are interested, what is interest? Krishna says, Amrita Taya Kalpata. That is the aim of life. How I shall become immortal? How I shall not become subjected to the four principles of distress, condition, birth, uh, death, disease, and all? Nobody is serious. They are so dull. Therefore, uh, they have been described Munda. Munda means so bad, so rascal, that they have no ambition of life. Uh, they do not know what is the goal of life. Manda. Manda means bad. And Sumanda Matha. And if some of them, just to become a little recognized as very religious, he will accept some rascal as guru, magician, and eat everything, do everything and become spiritualist. And his rascal guru will say, yes, you can eat anything, you can do anything. Uh, religion has nothing to do with eating. Uh, it is going on. The Christian people, uh, it is explicitly, clearly said, thou shalt not kill. But they are killing. <laughs> Still they are constant. They are very much proud. I am Christian. And what kind of Christian you are? You are regularly disobeying the order of Christ, and you still you are Christian. So everything is going on. Either Christian, Mahomedan, or Hindu, so called, all of them have become rascal. That's all. This is Kali. Manda, Sumanda, Matayu. They have created their own imaginary religious principle, 
and therefore they are condemned. They do not know. Uh, the life is, the aim of life is to realize God. This is human life. But they are so much embarrassed with this uncontrollable senses that they are going to the darkest region of material existence. Adanta means uncontrolled. They cannot control the senses. They have become so unfortunate that simple thing, little effort, little austerity to control the senses. The yoga process means to control the senses. Uh, yoga does not mean that he uh, show some magic. The magic magician also can show magic. Uh, we have seen one magician, he created immediately so much coins. Tang, tang, tang. Next moment it is all finished. So, uh, the light that missing, the aim of life. Manda, sumanda, matayu. Why? Mandabhāgya. That the unfortunate. So you take it for granted. We are trying. Uh, even our King's Consciousness mission, uh, mission, we are trying to awaken. Uh, Still, they are so unfortunate that cannot give up sense gratification. So unfortunate. Condemned unfortunate. Repeatedly we are as spending our gallons of blood, they don't do this, it's still there. Uh, cannot give up even sleeping. So pandya, Kali Yuga. Manda So it is very difficult with these rascals. Very, very difficult. Uh, therefore, uh, my Guru Maharaj is Guru Maharaj. Yeah. Go to Siddhartha Bhagavad Gita. They are not preaching. They are disgusted. They are, uh, I have no power to uh, reform these rascals. Better don't bother. Let them go to hell at this level. But still, uh, my Guru Maharaj, the priest, you uh, are so kind, and he asked us also to do the same thing. But it is very, very difficult. Job. People are so rascal, so condemned, so sinful. It is very, very difficult to raise them. Very difficult. So only those who are very fortunate they will understand that I am eternal, abhinasi, I am imperishable. Ah, I am put into this condition of perishable condition due to this my material body. Ah, so how to get out of it? They have no ambition. Just like dogs and cats. Simply sense this belief. I mean, ask Krishna is so kind, how? Very clearly explains. You try to understand what is the show. Uh, so who does not understand there is consciousness all over the world? Tatavidhi, jena sarvam idam tatam. They will jump over, yes, I am the Supreme God. Uh, God's consciousness is also spread all over. That's all right. But is, is your consciousness spread all over the universe? Both of us, we are conscious. But He is supreme conscious. Therefore, His consciousness is spread all over the universe, all over the creation. In the thirteenth chapter, we find Krishna says, Khetra gancha mang vidhi sarva khetre subharat. I am also khetra gancha. Super soul. What is the difference between super soul and soul? Soul, consciousness, is spread all over this body. Your, you are soul. Your consciousness spread all over your body. I am soul. My consciousness spread all over body. But my consciousness not spread all over your body. 
neither your consciousness spread all over my body, but God's Krishna's consciousness is spread over your body and my body, his body and everything. So Krishna is the super or the supreme because his consciousness is spread all over the universe. You cannot hide anything from Krishna. That is not possible. You cannot hide. Sarvasya chaham vidhi sannivishta. After all, you are making your plan with your heart and soul. The soul is there and the heart is there, mind is there. Now you are making plan. But you cannot hide the plan from the consciousness of Krishna. He is sitting there. That is super consciousness. Uh, one, you know, Aravinda, he was trying to get super consciousness. His philosophy is super consciousness. Uh, anyone who is here knows about Aravinda. The super consciousness you cannot get. That is not possible. Super consciousness is for Krishna, the Supreme Personality of God. Vidaham Samiti Don. Krishna says, I know everything. In the Bhagavad it is said. Janmadasya jata annayati tadatascha artheshu avigya. The absolute truth is that from whom everything is emanated. And he knows everything. Annayati tadatascha artheshu. We have explained many times. Just like I am conscious, but I do not know actually what is there within my body, how it is constituted, how how many veins are there, how the blood is becoming red. We have no actually information. I do not know what is within this finger. I am claiming it is my finger. Yes, yeah, it is my finger, but I do not know how the finger is constituted. Therefore, I am not avigya. Although there is my consciousness, I am not avigya. Avigya means expert in the knowing. That is called avigya, very experienced. But Krishna is avigya. That is described in the Srimad Bhagavad. Krishna is avigya. That is said. Janmadasya jataha in the Bhagavad beginning. Janmadasya jataha. Annayat, uh, indirectly or directly, annayat means directly, itarathascha or indirectly. Uh, we may know directly that this is my finger, but indirectly I do not know what is the constitution of finger, how it is working, how it is moving, you do not know. Uh, I know directly this is my hair, but indirectly how I am cutting hair and again it is growing, it is unknown. I say, these are my years, but I cannot count how many years are there. So I am conscious to a certain extent only, not fully. I am not avigya. I am not very expert. These are simple truths, where these rascal are claiming that I am God. The God is, means he is conscious, not only conscious, he is avigya. Very expert, knows everything. And sarat. Now, to get avigna, avigata or experience, we have to consult somebody. But God is sarat. Sarat means uh, he is personally is so independent that he doesn't require to take knowledge from anyone else. That is God. Sarat. Sarat means fully independent. Now how he become? Sābhāviti jñāna bala kriyāca. These are the description in the Veda. Sābhāviti. He is, knowledge is very natural. Sābhāviti. Just like hears something itching, immediately my hand attention. Yes. Sābhāviti. It is not that I have to think, now here it is eating, what I have to do? 
no, you have immediately handcuffs. Savavi. By nature. Similarly, when God has to create, as soon as He desires, let Him make a creation. Immediately. He hasn't got to think, make a plan, how to do it, how to execute it, where to get the ingredients. No. His energies are so perfect that as soon as He desires, everything. That is all. Thank you very much.